All right, now it's time for the tent that everybody likes to see, the big tent. So let me grab the camera. We did have a setback this last, since I did the last video update. The peppers started dropping their leaves like crazy. And I didn't know what the heck was going on with them. But uh, so I sprayed them with a little calcium magnesium and uh, they seem to be coming back. Let me get the camera back in here. You can see there's a lot of new growth coming out of these plants. You can see back there, they just started, I don't know, the leaves just started dropping, but the tomatoes, they're doing great. I mean, you can see there's a lot of fruit set. You know, there's a bunch back here. I mean, they are just flying along. But the peppers, for some reason, I don't know what happened to them, but they, uh, they just started dropping their leaves and they were turning brown. So I sprayed them some calcium magnesium and they seem to be bouncing back. So you can see there's some new growth on all those back there. There's new growth coming out of that one. That one there in the center, you can see there's a lot of new growth. But I think I pretty much have to sacrifice the peppers that are on there because I don't think they're gonna, they're gonna turn out. But uh, you know, for the most part, they've all got new growth coming out of them now. So I don't know if it was maybe the shock of being transplanted into these bigger trays or what happened to them. But uh, yeah, they just kind of went into like this like shock phase. Man, they just did not like it. So hopefully that calcium magnesium, you know, started to really get down inside because you can see there's a lot of new growth coming out of like, especially that one. Some of those over there, you know, and if, it, you know, there's like, you can see them down low, there's leaves coming out of the center section of it. So I think they're going to be okay. But it did set them back at least, you know, probably another month or so. They're going to be in kind of a shock regrow phase. But uh, these tomatoes, I mean, they are just loving these lights. I mean, these big new CMH lights, ceramic metal hydride. So, uh, I mean, I can't, I couldn't be happier with the way these things are just turning out. I mean, there is just a lot of tomatoes. I mean, those are nice sized little guys. And, I, you know, if they don't get any bigger than that, that'd be perfect because they're a little bit bigger than a cherry tomato. But uh, they'll be great for salads. Let me see if I can show you some more. Yeah, you can see there's a bunch of fruit set down there. Right in here. There's a lot of new uh, flowering going on up over there. This one here in the uh, grow bag, it's got a lot of fruit set. You can see here, they all look really healthy. Nice coloring in the leaves. So they're looking really nice. This plant here, I don't know if it's going to come back. This is a house plant that uh, got a little neglected at work. So I brought it home over the holiday vacation. It didn't have anybody watering it, so we'll see if we can bring him back. This one here seems to be doing really nice. I did have to dust it with a little bit of uh, diatomaceous earth. There were some uh, ants in there. I don't know how they got in there, but uh, I dusted that to get rid of those ants. Oh, and then there's the pepper. So these are turning now. You can see there's a red one there, a red one that's turning back there, still got a little bit of green on it. That one there is starting to turn. And there's some more peppers down there, down there. This one here is a nice red one. I think it's completely full red now, so we're going to harvest that this week. Take that one and put that as one of our uh, dinner salad peppers. And I'm going to save the uh, seeds from that. And I'm probably going to end up taking the seeds out of that pepper. and wherever the peppers is in the back of this tent here don't make it I'm gonna start germinating some of those because those seem to do really well in an indoor grow tent I mean as you can see it's really green I mean it just loves it loves these LED lights so uh, I'm gonna start growing those instead of those little sweet sweet peppers because they seem pretty temperamental I mean even this one that was an established plant when I put it into this grow bed it seemed to go into a shock mode and then uh, you know it's got a bunch of new growth coming on it but I just don't want to have to deal with a pepper that's that temperamental. And then I'm losing any kind of yield I'm going to get off these things for, what, another two months? Whereas, you know, if I grow one of these bigger ones, it'll, uh, it seems to be fine, has never had any shock issues. And uh, when I transplanted it, it did great. So if I can get one of these, you know, if I can replace all those little ones with maybe a couple of big ones back in there, I could have nice-sized bell peppers like that growing off. All throughout the winter so that's an idea for next winter you know but then also in this tent I should have some new uh, some new things showing up which is you know the, uh, the cannabis because the guy I work with 
he's going to be doing some cuttings off of his female and uh, give me some cuttings so I'm going to do some cloning and I'll uh, put those in here and see how they grow. All right, guys. This has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Hope you have a great weekend and talk to you again. Bye.